the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. In this video, we're going to talk about base chain and specifically meme coins on base. We have seen a huge run on Solana for meme coins. It seems to be the go to for a lot of people right now. But one thing we can't fade is base chain. It's always been having a huge run with a lot of meme coins over there. Um, and as you can see on the screen, Coinbase is moving users' assets fully on chain as they see a new height in TVL. So Coinbase are looking to onboard a bunch of users onto their base chain, obviously base chain being their layer two, run through the OP stack, all right guys? So during this bull run, we'll probably see a lot of volume and TVL flow into base chain for the simple fact that Coinbase is one of the largest exchanges in the world, um, if not the largest, right? And most people that are coming into uh, crypto for the first time, they're gonna go through Coinbase. Okay, that's your on and off ramp for crypto for a lot of people. All right, guys. So they have the Coinbase wallet as well. And that is basically going to get more people involved in on-chain trading. And specifically mean coins, a lot of retail are going to be flowing into these particular tokens. Okay, guys. So I'm going to talk about 10 mean coins on base uh, that I like, some of which I am already invested in, others which I'm looking to accumulate um in this bull run okay guys earlier sooner rather than later okay guys we're going to start from the highest market cap down to the lowest market cap so if you watch till the end of the video you will get the lowest market cap token on this list which obviously stands for the highest um you know potential for upside all right guys so the first one we're going to talk about is the leading i would say the leading uh, mean coin on base right now it's not the first ever launch but it is the leading one if you think about uh, Shiba Inu or Pepe for example on Ethereum this is said to be the Pepe of this bull run for base chain okay guys and it fits into the same narrative as Pepe because it's by the same artist that created Pepe uh, Matt Fury all right guys but Brett is currently sitting at a 700 million market cap all right, guys, and yes, that seems high, but this could potentially go into the multiples of billions. If you think of Shiba Inu, for example, I think that went to over 60 billion in market cap. All right, guys. So um, when it comes to um, obviously being safe, meme coins are all risky. They're all super risky, right? But ultimately, you can invest in the, you know, the top performing meme coins on a specific chain. And there's less risk involved in getting into the ones that are higher market cap uh, with a lot more liquidity, a lot more volume. And uh, it's just less risky than getting into something that's super low market cap that, you know, uh, nobody's really talking about. It hasn't really done this run yet. Um, just for the simple fact that it's already established. OK. And, um, you know, this one's probably the most likely out of. All the ones we're going to talk about today, this one amongst you know a few others, okay. But being a leading one is probably the highest probability that this will get listed on the actual Coinbase exchange. All right, guys. So um, Brett, um, if you go and check out the website, it's very memeable. Um, it's got a lot going for it at the time of recording this video. The chart is looking super bullish, okay, guys, and it's just a great meme overall, and it's uh, it's actually an an official meme established meme by the creator of pepe who's famous for memes okay guys so um that's probably one that you should look at uh accumulating for this bull run um or at least having some percentage of your meme coin base chain meme coin portfolio in brett okay guys the next one we're going to look at is toshi okay now toshi is one that i bought near the beginning of the base chain launch okay this i believe this was the first ever meme coin on base chain and this one um although i say i bought it i did sell it um a long a long while ago as well okay guys because uh, this one came out over in uh november okay guys so i bought it way over here i held it for a while i ended up selling it all right guys although i wish i would have held on to it at this point but um, I kind of anticipated the, you know, the run that we were going to see in mean coins on base. But ultimately, I should have just held it. But it is what it is. Okay, guys. But Toshi is the second highest market cap on this list at 195 million. And this is basically based on 
uh, one of the founder's cats, I believe. Um, Brian Armstrong's cat, I believe. Okay, the website has changed since the beginning. And it's got a lot more going through it right now. It does look a lot, um, a lot more, you know, it's, well, it's a lot, it was nice before, but there's a lot going on now with Toshi Town and all that sort of stuff, okay? They've got tools, all right? So they're building utility into this particular meme coin. But this is basically based on the founder's cat, all right, guys? And we know that cat meme coins are getting a lot of attention recently. We know that dogs do well, but the cat meme coins are said to have a lot of uh, attention uh, in this particular bull run. So people believe that cats are going to overtake dogs. Not sure how true that is, but ultimately Toshi is one that you should definitely watch for this bull run. And again, this is a super, it's like a high market cap, but this could potentially go into the billions. Another one that could stand a strong possibility of being listed on the Coinbase exchange. The next one we're going to talk about is one of my favorites, uh, Normie. Okay, guys, Normie is sitting at a 92 million in market cap. All right, guys, and why I like this one, first of all, it is original, okay? The chart looks very nice, and people have clearly saw, seen the, uh, you know, the, the appeal in this particular token. It's been out for less than a month at the time of recording this video, but the upside in this has been crazy, sitting at a 92 million in market cap, okay, guys? But this one is very memeable. Um, uh, normie is a term used for new people coming into crypto, okay guys and um or noob noob and normie they're two terms for new people or just normal people coming into the crypt uh, into crypto um you know this one will appeal to a lot of people and the website is visually stunning the meme is very memeable like i said okay guys and it's just got a strong community in this token all right i see this one performing uh, very well if you go if, if you go over to twitter you'll see that they're constantly posting new memes, right? The creativity of this community is incredible, okay, guys? And there's just memes upon memes upon memes of this particular project, um, you know? So, again, what I like about it as well is it's an original meme. It's not like a copy of another meme that was created by somebody else or whatever, okay, guys? So, in terms of an original meme on the base chain that's leading the run in terms of original memes at the moment, I would say that this one is, uh, you know, second to none. I really like Normie. And uh, at the market cap that it's at, um, I think at this one, um, you know, it's already, you know, made a statement and, you know, this could potentially go into the billions. Um, so I really like Normie. Okay, guys. Um, number four we have on the list is Roost. Now, why I bought Roost, um, I'm not a huge fan of the website on Roost, okay, guys? But um, Roost has a lot of attention and their marketing is very good. Um, it's a new project, okay, guys? But they actually had a pre-sale in which they raised, I believe it was 12 million, um, over 12 million. If we just go back to the the pre-sale page, they, they raised $12.5 million in the pre-sale, okay? Um, so at the beginning it came out and you know you did have some sellers which was inevitable it was always going to happen okay guys so if we go from here right it did have a 75 percent pullback a little bit more but it did it did wick at the beginning but a 75 percent pullback um i decided to buy some of this over here and i am in a profit on this particular one right now um how well it will do will depend on um the community in my opinion okay guys and in in saying that but right, the community does look pretty bullish there's a lot of people that i'm following that are following this particular uh token and some of which stand out to me like shib toshi for example he's a multi-billionaire who was a an, an og in uh uh shiba inu right this is the guy that bought eight thousand dollars worth of shiba inu which turned into 5.7 billion dollars and he held it for like 500 days i'm not sure if he's ever sold any to this date but he was a crypto billionaire as far as i'm aware before he actually got into this token uh, before he got into shiba sorry and then became a shib billionaire another one is crypto banter okay or ran 
crypto uh, ran nuna from crypto banter so they are talking about roost on their channel as well they have a massive community he's probably one of the leading fundamentalists in the world although this is a meme coin so in terms of fundamentals it, it doesn't really have that kind of influence but you know, they have a massive platform and petabyte who is uh, uh the co-founder of floki um also uh following and obviously or, or most likely invested in roost okay guys but again most of these guys probably would have got in on a pre-sale um you know but but these guys have a strong reputation of holding as well guys so although there may, may be some big bag holders in roost um a lot of the you know a lot of these guys will probably be holding um just based on what we see with other meme coins what they're doing right now you know with brett sitting at 700 almost a billion dollars toshi at 200 million normia 100 million right um, th there's a strong possibility that this one could do a 10x to a billion and beyond potentially okay guys so that's why i like roost the next one is one that is getting a lot of attention on uh youtube and twitter which is dog in me um this one is ranging pretty well so the chart looks good where it's at it's at a 72 million in market cap remember we're going from the highest to the lowest in this video okay guys um so stay tuned for the lower market cap we are at number five right now um but 72 million dollars in market cap um this one has a uh, a lot of attention um uh because this is based on um somebody i can't remember let's see let's have a look um so there's the dog in me mean coins roots were established when a farcaster user inquired if dan romero the founder of the decentralized social media platform owned a dog um he replied no but i got that dog in me so this is how this meme coin was built i've never even heard of farcaster but i've seen people talking about this meme and why it's you know got some appeal um it is an attractive meme as well um which is why i added this to the list uh, 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 because in terms of popularity i'm looking at which are the most popular and you know likely to give you upside in terms of a safe meme coin portfolio which is there is no such thing as a safe meme coin portfolio but there's safer portfolios than others but dog in me uh, for the sole purpose that it's got that storyline behind it that's why i like this particular token and i think it's worth taking a look at um if you're looking for you know prominent meme coins to add into your meme coin portfolio on base uh, the next one is uh, Base NG or, or Benji. The ticker will be Benji. Okay, guys. It's probably one of my least favorite meme coins in this list. Uh, however, you know, for me, it's not always about whether I like it or not. It's whether about other people like it. Okay. So with Base NG, all right, um, this has basically been getting a lot of attention on uh, social media. And of course, it's basically sitting at a 21 million market cap. So we're going into the lower ranges now. Okay, guys. Um, so, you know, for this to get to 100 million, um, that would be a 5x from where we are right now. And um, ultimately, you know, if this was a higher market cap, I probably want to add it to the list. But I'm looking at the upside potential. I don't see this one going into the billions. And that's just me others might disagree okay guys but i do see this printing a lot more upside uh for investors just for the simple fact that it's getting a lot of attention it's sitting at a 21 million market cap so it has surpassed that 10 million and it's sitting comfortably above that level so you know do we see more upside for this particular token uh i believe that it probably will and uh, once you break those levels it could potentially move upwards and then begin to break a new all-time high so you know, again, it's just for the simple fact that, you know, a lot of other people like this one and they're talking about it. It's got a huge following. Um, you know, uh, you know, some of the people that I'm following are following it as well. So, you know, there are, I mean, just bear in mind, there are tokens that didn't make this list because um, I didn't want to do more than 10 and do such a long video. Um, but, you know, in terms of, you know, separating one from another, you know, this one has... A lot more attention than some other ones that could have made this list 
Um, so that is Benji, base NG. Okay, guys. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is based SHIB. Okay, guys. So base Shiba Inu. Um, ultimately, everybody knows what Shiba Inu is at this point in terms of meme coins. You know, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Pepe. Uh, everybody knows those meme coins, or most people know those meme coins, right? So Shiba Inu on the base chain, in my opinion, is one that you know is is good to have in the portfolio. It's sitting at a low market cap at the time of recording this video, or should I say, you know, it's not really low, but 10 million, you know, for a meme coin is a good market cap, but it's low enough where it's not in the hundreds of millions, 10x, 11x to your hundred million dollars. Okay, if it gets to a billion, which, you know, how likely is that? Most people probably just want to invest in the original Shiba Inu. Okay, guys, but Shiba Inu on base, obviously... You know, we, we've seen Shiba Inu on uh, on on different chains pump, right? Um, Solana, for example. Okay, so with this one being on base, um, it's got a good website. Uh, you know, it's got good marketing. Okay, guys, so it's visually attractive. You know, with a lot of people coming into Coinbase, you know, uh, they might hear of Shiba Inu. They'll be on the base chain, onboarding onto the base chain. They might not know any difference. They say, yo, Shiba Inu, well, this is called Shiba Inu. It's on base chain and we'll buy it. Um, so that's why I see a potential upside for Shiba Inu on base. Other people are talking about it on Twitter, uh, YouTube, you know. So, you know, that's basically why I think this one is good to add to the portfolio. And if we move directly on to the next one, we have Bulge, okay, guys, and Bulge is the Doge coin of uh, base chain, okay, guys, which is just Doge with a B, and this one I like, it is a slightly, only slightly, in fact, since I started this video, um, you know, they were sit both sitting at around 11, and this was about 11.1 .1 million market cap on base Shiba, Bulge was 11 million market cap, so they're, they're technically the same market cap, but they are fluctuating, okay, but Bulge, um, this one has a little bit more going for it. It has a very nice website. They've actually got a game, a flappy Bulge game, which you can actually play. Um, if you remember, uh, is it was Flappy Birds. Um, this is basically more or less the same, but in a game form for Bulge or, the, you know, this based Doge or Doge coin on the base chain, right? So um, that's why I like this one. Obviously, everybody knows what Dogecoin is. So, you know, this one being the Doge or the Dogecoin of base chain or the spin off from Doge on base. That's why I like this one sitting at 11 million in market cap. It's not too high, not too low. It's ranging pretty good on the chart. So, this one is definitely one to keep an eye on and add to your port. I do hold this token as well, but it could be a good one to keep in your portfolio if you're looking for, you know, a mixed batch of you know, meme coins to add into your base chain portfolio. The next one we're going to talk about is DeFido. Not a lot of people are talking about this one. Um, the website is not as great um, as some of the other ones that we've seen, but the storyline and the narrative of this one is actually very good. Okay, guys, because when Elon Musk tweeted about Floki originally, right, Coinbase, the actual Coinbase account, uh, responded saying Floki meet DeFido. Okay, guys, so that's where this dog comes from. Okay, um, so this was a viral tweet from Coinbase in 2021. So um, the narrative of this could take very well once a lot more people start talking about it. Okay, and people catch on to this particular meme. Okay, sitting at a 9 million in market cap. Um, and this actually launched at the beginning of March. So again, you know, it hasn't really caught the attention of crypto Twitter and YouTube yet. Uh, despite that, it is doing pretty well at 9 million in market cap. I did send some recommend uh, recommendations to the team to kind of improve the website and things like that. I think, you know, the first thing you should see when you come to the landing page is something like this. And they should have bet much better artwork than this. But ultimately, that doesn't really matter. We're not investing in art, to be honest. And a lot of the time, we do see... Uh, you know, meme coins with not even very great art go absolutely crazy. 
just for the simple fact that they have a huge community and a good narrative. Um, DeFi, though, definitely fits into the good narrative. Um, it definitely has a good narrative, in my opinion, for the simple fact that Coinbase has never tweeted about any other dog. And, um, you know, ultimately, will that translate into price action? Um, you know, I would bet on it for the culture of it. Okay, guys, so... That's why I like DeFi though. There is another DeFi though, so do be careful. There are two DeFi those, okay? And the other DeFi though is basically not the original. It does have a nicer website, however, okay? But you can see the chart is at 162K. This might be worth taking a bet on as well. But none of this is financial advice, okay, guys? But it does have a nicer uh, uh, website, all right, guys? Um, so, you know, take this website, copy and paste it over onto the other DeFido, and I think you have a winner. And the final meme coin we're going to talk about is the lowest one or the lowest market cap on this particular uh, video. Okay, guys, and that is packed. Not a lot of people know about this one, but this also fits into the cat narrative like we talked about with Toshi. All right, guys, and it's very low. It's always good to have a you know, a higher risk bet in your portfolio when it comes to meme coins because obviously they have the higher um, multiplier in terms of upside. Okay, but this one, I do like it. And it's it's uh, it's basically, you know, it's, it's got the same kind of art type of, you know, blue um, kind of art form as like what we see with things like Normie, for example. All right, guys, so I think it's very memeable if the community really takes to it. Uh, the base community, all right, but this one has a lot of potential to grow. Um, the website is pretty basic, um, but you know, that's probably you know a good thing about it. There's not too much going on, okay, guys. Um, it's, uh, I mean, forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it does look like a cat, right? I'm, I'm sure it is a cat, and the fact that its name is Pat, uh, you know, that rhymes with cat, so I'm assuming that this is a cat. Um, but ultimately, the cat narrative is one that you know seems to be very popular right now okay guys it's not followed by a bunch of people that i'm following okay but it is followed by at least one person with almost 100k followers so that's a good thing um this could signify that we're early in finding this one and uh, before you know it this could have a bunch of followers following it and a bunch of people buying it and a bunch of people talking about it and tweeting about it okay guys their engagement is very good though if you look at their tweets every tweet they've got They've got reposts and likes and, and comments. So that is definitely good in terms of community. And ultimately, a strong community always grows. So, um, and again, like I said, it's very memeable. All right, guys. Um, if they start banging out the memes like Normie, uh, this one could do extremely well. And um, ultimately, banging out memes just means more people start posting them and it starts trending a little bit more. But... Um, you know, this one at a 3 million market cap, if this goes to 30 million, you 10x your investment. If it goes to 300 million, like, you know, you know, like, like Toshi, for example, or 200 million or a 700 million like Brett, not saying that he's going to do that, obviously, but, um, you know, you'll make life changing money on a very small investment at this point. So um, that's why I like Pat. And that's really all I've got for you in this video. Um, 10 meme coins that will be good to look at in, in investing in or adding to your meme coin portfolio. But remember, none of this is financial advice. This is specifically um, relevant to the base chain narrative. All right, guys, so bear that in mind as well. But um, yeah, if you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe. Hit the little bell for notifications. Like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you in the next one.